Oh. Many happy returns, Dr. Atticus. It's my birthday? Good heavens, I completely forgot. We weren't quite sure how many candles we should put on the um, cake. Yes, um... Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to spoil the party, what? but Virtue's oh, just been rushed into emergency. Oh. Sally, Kitty, could you come right come away? Come now, Dr. Matthews. <gasps> <laughs> No sign of a head injury. Mm. Oh. Blood pressure's low. Doesn't look good. Yes, the poor thing. Mm. <gasps> oh, my poor virtue. Take the sample to the lab, please, Kitty. <laughs> oh. Would you like a piece of my birthday cake? No, thanks. Just had breakfast. You must be getting on a bit now, Dr Atticus. Uh, yes, I, I think I'm rather more than one year old. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions about how Virtue got into this condition, Mrs... Uh, Mrs... It's... Uh, oh, no, oh, I should know that one. <laughs> I'm sure I've got it here somewhere. Mm. Uh, oh, yes. Here we are, Mrs. Olive Atkins. Do you have any idea why Virtue collapsed? Um, oh, now that's a hard one. I should know this, but... Uh... Has he eaten anything unusual or taken any medicine? Oh, that's a puzzle, that is. You see, if you could remember, it would help us to find out what's wrong with Virtue. And then we could help him get better. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember anything. <laughs> how is he? He's really not very well. If only we knew how this happened, but Olive can't remember anything. It's hard to remember things when you're very worried. I'll see if I can get her to relax. That might help her remember. Good idea. I'll bring her a cup of tea. Relaxing with Benny B. Um, piano meditations by Richard Cuttlefish. No. Uh, aha! Perfect. Dreamy sounds of dolphins. Right, Olive. I want you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your trunk. <laughs> Sorry. What did you say? Oh, dear. We've run out of tea bags. Have you got the key to the cupboard, Sally? No. I think Dr. Atticus had it last. Oh, dear. Better get a new one cut, then. In. <laughs> and out. Oh, oh, I'm drowning. <laughs> oh. mm, Have you seen yum, the key yum. to the store cupboard, Dr. Atticus? Mm. Oh. Mm. Don't know what that's doing there. The key, Dr. Atticus? Yeah. Oh, yes, uh, sorry. No, I haven't got it. I could have sworn you had it last. Not me, Kitty. Oh, but I was going to make Olive a nice cup of tea. Well, don't worry. I'll take her some cake instead. Oh. Oh, no. Let's play a memory game called Bez. Now. Memorize where the cards are. Oh. Um. <gasps> it's a flower. Yes! Well done! But they don't match, do they? <gasps> Let's try something else. Any news? He's very ill. 
Sally thinks we might have to operate. Oh, dear. I hope not. I don't think Dr. Atticus will be able to manage. Why ever not? I think he's losing his memory. He forgot about his own birthday, can't remember how old he is, and has lost the key to the store cupboard. I'll ask Claire and Arthur. They might have something to help him remember things. Oh, Dr. Matthews, you're so decisive. I like that in a dog. There is no miracle drug for memory loss, but we do have a book somewhere about memory techniques. You had that book last, didn't you, Claire? No, you had it last. Did I? Well, where is it then? Are you sure you didn't have it? Peanut butter on cake, Dr. Atticus. Yes. Olive must be really hungry by now. Oh, no. His heartbeats are very irregular. Get Dr. Atticus. We're going to have to operate right now. You are now asleep. Tell me, Olive, what was Virtue doing this morning? I gave him something to eat. He was hungry. Oh, oh, where am I? Oh, Dr. Atticus, we just reached complete inner peace. I'm sorry. We ran out of tea, so I thought you might like some peanut butter cake. Oh, oh, that's it. What is it? Nuts. Don't be so rude. No, nuts. He's allergic to nuts, and I gave him peanut butter sandwiches this morning. Are you sure now? Yes, certain. Oh, my poor virtue. I'll never forgive myself. I'll tell everyone. <laughs> His blood count is out. Definitely an allergic reaction. We'd better tell Sally. Yes? Thank you, Claire. EpiPen kit. <laughs> right. Good. EpiPen kit. Do you think that'll work? Should do. Makes the heart beat really fast. It could wake a hibernating bear. Hmm. <sighs> Oh. I'll go and get Olive. She'll be so relieved. Oh, I just felt Virtue's trunk move. Virtue! Virtue! He's waking up. Oh, Virtue, I'm so glad you're all right. <laughs> ah, Grandma, you're squeezing my trunk. Oh, sorry, love. I must say, you're looking a lot better. This is a medic alert bracelet to say you are allergic to nuts. You must never take it off, OK? Yes. And you must always remind people never to give you anything with nuts in, especially your grandma. OK. Here's a notebook. I've written in the notebook what virtue can and can't eat, so you don't forget. Oh, thanks. You know, Dr. Atticus, maybe you should use a notebook too. You did forget your birthday. Kitty, when you're as old as I am, you try to forget your birthday. Oh, I am sorry, Dr. Atticus. Oh, that's quite all right. Actually, a notebook might come in handy. I have one in my pocket. Here you are. Oh. oh, dear. The key to the store cupboard. I had it all the time. On second thoughts, Kitty, maybe you should keep that notebook. I think you need it more than me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>